Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, this is another episode from a technician's corner. Today we're working on a Latitude Rugged 12, and uh, this is obviously a ruggedized tablet model. Uh, the issue with this one, the power jack port has uh, broken. The inside has been uh, damaged and it no longer charges properly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and switch that out. Now, as you can see, I'm starting on the screws on the back here. Uh, there is just the back panel, just like most laptops. Uh, there's a good handful of screws all the way around. You can see kind of all of the divot holes where the screws are at. And I go around, do the corners first, and then do a lot of the others. You do need to make sure that these are um, aligned. There are a few that are slightly that can be or are slightly different length, but most of them are all the same size screws. Something else to note they also a lot of times will stick inside of the corner slots uh, they don't always want to come out because of the rubber uh, corner pieces there uh, which is no big deal but you just need to make sure that you're aware of whether it's coming out or not so that if you go to uh, take things apart you don't want to drop and lose those screws if you flip the back panel over Obviously, we're also going to need to take off the little kickstand here, and that is just, if you have a flat screwdriver, you can do it that way. There is the little lever that lifts up. If you don't have the flat screwdriver and it's too hard to twist with your fingers, you can lift that lever up and use it, uh, something small to slide in there and use that to turn it. We, of course, need to take out the batteries to get the last four screws there are two screws underneath each battery if you have two batteries in it, obviously, depending on how many batteries you have. Now once you're done with that, you're going to uh, separate it and the back is not the piece that comes off, it's actually the LCD part. You can see me putting the pry tool in there. There are no actual tabs that hold this in, uh, but it is a very snug fit. And there are some wires that attach the LCD to the internals, uh, which you can kind of see some of that there. Uh, there are three of them. Uh, one of them is going to be for the buttons at the bottom of the screen. One of them is going to be for the digitizer um, that senses your finger input on the screen. And then the third one, which is the widest one, is the one that gives you your actual video uh, component. And as you can see there, they do just pop off, but you do have to be very careful because uh, you can pull them out and you can damage these cables. Uh, fairly easily. I have seen them broken in the past fairly fairly easily and then you have to e replace the cable if possible or you may even have to replace the whole uh, screen unit. So right there is the DC port that we're going to be taking out and this is as you can see all very tight and close together uh, but fortunately, we don't have to rip everything out to get the DC port out. We can uh, get that out just by removing a few things. Uh, the one screw does act as a ground, so you do need to make sure that that's in there. It helps to keep everything from uh, uh, having accidental discharges or anything like that, especially since this is where you plug it in from the wall.
even though this is a relatively quick repair, you do need to be uh, careful and cautious with how you handle the wires. Again, very easy to break them, but you do also have to take a few of the wires out so that you can um, get the pieces that you need pulled through or out or anything like that. Uh, as you could see in one area, there is a little rubber piece that you lift up with one of the other wires to help get the uh, DC port wire um, out and back in. And uh, the actuality of it is it actually is attached to the DC port wire so it actually gets replaced so you have to pull that flat cable out. Right here you can see the one on the left is the broken one, the one on the right is the good one. The one on the right has that plastic piece with the little hole in the middle. The one on the left was broken out and you could just see some of the contacts floating around inside there and uh, because of that it's not making a proper connection. Now, of course, make sure when you're getting these things seated back down, you have them lined back up to where they go. Um, they're all fairly tight in terms of how they have to be placed in there. You can see certain wires there are run through channels and whatnot. So you can uh, you need to make sure that they are running in the area that they're supposed to be because if not they can get in the way they can be pinched and you could end up damaging one of the cables Now when fishing these cables back in for the LCD, the wide one, just remember there is a little lever bar that you're going to have to make sure you get it flipped over so that it holds the connector in. Uh, the little lever bar is actually attached to the cable itself uh, and hopefully you saw that when it was removed and uh, you have to flip that little lever bar up otherwise it doesn't slide out that's the one thing that holds it in the other ones as you could probably see they are ones that slide in and they have a little uh, flip lever that comes down a little plastic one that will hold them into place once they're plugged in properly uh, it also doesn't hurt if you do peel these away from the back of the screen to give yourself some more room that's not going to hurt anything. Uh, I have to do that to uh, get these to plug in properly because of the limited length of cable uh, because everything and things like these are very tight. Now since this is a DC port issue 
I didn't plug in the battery, uh, so I just plug the DC port in, uh, and then I go ahead and test it by turning it on, making sure that it's getting power. The lights are lighting up, there's the screen, and we're good to go. Alright everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, social media is down below if you want to help out, there's PayPal. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.